Hi, this is Dr. Akasu, President and CEO of OEA International, a high-tech company in Silicon Valley, California. I would like to give mathematical formulation for finding Malaysian flight number MH370, which became a mystery flight for the last couple of days. This is the Earth, which is drawn in purple, equator. In black, we have a little bit of map which shows the Malaysian Peninsula, South China Sea, and Vietnam. The first point here is Kuala Lumpur, where the plane took off. And P0 coordinate is the place where we lost contact with the plane. The pilot said good night and signed off. We know the T0 of that location as well. So at T0, we got the last broadcast from the plane. We have another data, which is the T ping data, which is actually when the satellite captured, communicated with the plane so he can calculate the radius of the circle which CNN shows all the time. We know the center coordinate and the radius of the circle. And CNN is indicating that it's a huge area they have to look both up and down at the circle, which is equal to millions and millions of miles, square miles of area. What I'm going to show you, it is really not that difficult because we have these two data and an additional data, which is the speed of the plane, which is less than 700 miles per hour to 400 miles per hour. Not much difference. We know it can't be below that. So we know the location where we lost the contact. We know now we can draw another circle, which is we call it our plane radius, which is actually is equal to delta t, the time difference between the satellite ping data and the time we had the last contact times velocity or the speed of the plane. So if we intersect these two circles, we get two coordinates. P1 in the south in the Indian Ocean and P2 somewhere else. We don't know. But it could be calculated. So the radius of the plane is given by the delta t, the time difference between the last broadcast from the plane minus the time where we received the satellite ping data. We can also calculate with a fairly good certainty where this window is. So we don't have to look that far. This is the only thing we have to do. Delta t times delta v will give you the delta uncertainty. Which is really not that much. For example, if this was delta t is 2 hours times difference of 300 miles, this is 600 miles of uncertainty. So 300 miles from here to there, 300 miles from here. So we really don't have to look that far. The search area is not that large. Now what I would recommend to the people is we can calculate this exactly and let's go and find the plane please. 